In another shooting involving teenagers in the city, a 14-year-old grazed by a bullet when shots rang out while he was getting on board an MTA bus in Harlem. Police say the boy was targeted and are now looking into whether it was gang-related. Lisette Nunez live at the scene in Harlem with the latest on the investigation and the search for who did it. Lisette. Steve, and the violence happened as the 14-year-old teenager went ahead and hopped on the MTA bus. And right now, police believe this was a targeted shooting. Police swarming an MTA bus stop at the corner of Lenox Avenue and 139th Street in Harlem after a shooting involving a 14-year-old. While the bus was picking up and discharging passages, a 14-year-old male was getting on onto the front of the entrance of the bus. Another male begins to shoot at the 14-year-old as he was boarding the bus. The shooting happened around 10 in the morning. Video shows where the bullet pierced the bus's windshield. The 14-year-old was grazed in the head by a bullet. The bus driver suffered minor injuries to his hand from broken glass. Police say the suspect ran away after opening fire. And MTA officials tell us the incident could have ended much worse. The bus operator barrier, the metal bar on the bus operator barrier, stopped one of the bullets, which uh, otherwise uh, could have had uh, really serious consequences. Both the 14 year old and the bus driver were taken to the hospital and are expected to recover from their injuries. Police are looking through surveillance video as they continue to look for a suspect. Meanwhile, MTA reassuring riders that safety is their priority. Uh, what I want to reiterate here to our customers and to our employees is that. The bus and subway system is safe. Uh, this year we carried over 270 million trips virtually with no incident. And police were asked whether they believe the shooting was gang related. Investigators say that's something they are looking into. We are live in Harlem with Set Nunez, Fox 5 News. Steve, back over to you. All right, thanks, Lissette.